at home on New Year's Day recording this. Um, I have my stars left up from Christmas because they look nice, so I think I'm going to leave them up a while. Um, they are on, but it's kind of hard to tell with the light coming in. I had to open the curtains, you know, prop the curtains open so that I could get enough light to film this. I'm not sure it's enough without my glasses on. It's hard to tell. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update. Things have been kind of a mess lately. Um, the I had my, well, I was supposed to have my final MLD therapy appointment and the therapist canceled because she was sick and so I never got a final MLD appointment and it kind of leaves me hanging. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing as far as self-maintenance. Um, all I know are the things that she had taught me before but you know other than that, and I had questions about this ginger oil that I saw that's supposed to work for um, lymph drainage. And, you know, it's like all this stuff, and I, I just kind of got left hanging. And because of the contract that this rehab hospital has with Kaiser, I can't get in for another appointment because it's already expired. This contract has expired. So I kind of got screwed out of that one. Um, and then my, I was supposed to have a follow-up appointment with my surgeon and this is really kind of bizarre to me. And this is the same surgeon that, you know, I've had issues with their office practices before that I've talked about that in previous videos. I got a phone call at like, 9, 10 in the morning and I had taken the day off because I had my MLD appointment in the morning and then I had the surgical follow-up in the afternoon so I took the whole day off I arranged for a laser therapy appointment for Tucker and I was actually doing that so I think it was like 10 o'clock in the morning or something and I got a call from the surgeon's office saying that they had to reschedule because he was in surgery and I'm like, surgery is scheduled in advance. How could they not know to call me in advance that he was going to be in surgery? Why did they wait until, you know, five hours before my appointment to call me? And yet, if I had done that to them, I would get charged for the appointment. Are, are they going to reimburse me for the time I took off work? No. That's really screwed. And so I have not made another appointment to go back and see him. I, I, I just really have, you know, I'm up to here with that surgical office. And so, you know, and there's nothing he can do for me at this point, you know. So... What the hell? I, I have no desire to go back there and see him. Um, I just feel like I'm not treated very well from that office. And so why put myself through it again? So, um, you know, I would encourage you that, and I wish I had done this early on when I was first having issues with their office that I had gone for a, not necessarily a second opinion but that I had looked into other surgeons um, although you know I may have because it's all under the Kaiser umbrella the same hospital I may have found you know I may have gone just from you know one pit into another I don't know but so that's where I am right now um, one of my goals this year is to work on personal health. I, I don't know if I call it personal health. Um, I want to get my mind in a better place. I did, you know, and focus on my physical health other than the cancer. 
Uh, you know, the cancer is kind of like in the past now. And so I bought a pair of walking shoes and, you know, not expensive ones, just some Skechers from Costco. So they were like $25, you know. And, uh, but all my others are giving me blisters and rubbing wrong. So I can't wear them. But the goal is to get out and start walking a little bit. Maybe just do, you know, once around the block to start with. The hard part is getting motivated to do it. It used to be easy when I could clip a leash on Tucker and he'd take off and I'd follow. Now that he can't walk, it's harder for me to get motivated because I can't take him. So I'm even thinking maybe at lunch at work, you know, at work going out at lunch and doing a little bit of walking rather than not taking a lunch, which is what I normally tend to do. And so, you know, I, I have to get motivated to do that. And um, one of the things is this apartment. I need to get out of this apartment because um, it's just, you know, it's a dark little apartment. If I ever get to the point where I can move, I am going to film the apartment and you can see how small it is. <laughs> um, how dark it is. I, it, yeah, it's, and it, it messes with my head sometimes. Um, I, I need to have a kitchen. I need to have a bedroom where I can shut things up and lock the door. I need to have like a living space so I can keep bedroom and living private or separate. Um, I want to have a washer and dryer in my unit so that I can do laundry whenever I want. I can put them in in the morning, transfer them to the dryer when I get home, or put them in when I go to bed, transfer them to the dryer when I get up, you know, whatever. And I can do it whatever day of the week I want. I don't have to live on somebody else's schedule as far as laundry is concerned. And I don't have to go to a laundromat to do laundry. Um, I actually talk about this in one of my other videos. I, I did finally start my other YouTube channel, Zebra Does. And I'll link it down below. Go ahead and take a look at it. It's just other stuff. Um, I talked about my goals for the year in one video and it, getting a new apartment was one of them. And so I talked about my thing with the dryer. Um, how I really don't like other people's dryer lint. And um, I posting a book review. I'm, I reviewed a dress I bought on Wish. You know, I'm just doing kind of a, a, a hodgepodge of stuff over there. I'm, I'm trying to find my way. So go check it out. Um, and on, you know, I, I encourage everybody to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button. I haven't been pushing it on this channel because this is such a specific channel. You know, this is really geared towards the cancer. The other channel, I I keep forgetting to tell people to subscribe and, you know, hit all the buttons and everything. But um, it, I would appreciate it if you did that. If you go to that channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. Um, put a post a comment in there. Let me know what else you want to see. If you have any ideas or suggestions, uh, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, and then it helps me to develop further, um, further, totally lost it, um, you know, further content. I kept thinking comment. Uh, God. So, with that, um, I'm got the link for Zebra Does in below. And I'll put a little link somewhere at the end of this. And so that's where I am right now with the cancer stuff. Um, just kind of, oh, I, I do have a follow-up appointment with my oncologist at the end of January. And so, you know, if nothing else, I'll post after that. 
Um, you know, but at this point, it's just sort of everything's just sort of status quo and um, nothing exceptional is happening as far as the cancer. So that's why posting has been kind of sporadic and not very often. <laughs> And so when something does happen, I will post it here. And if you've hit that notification button, you'll get a notified, hopefully, um, depending on what YouTube is doing in 2019. And so till next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.